in order to extrude it, you're going to have to determine where you want to pull that part of the building out. Okay? So if we have this building right here, we're going to decide to pull it out right here. Like a garage being pulled out of the front of the building. Right? So I will determine where that corner will take place with a vertical line, and that will give me these two points in addition to the two for the end of the house. Those four points are where we're going to pull the vanishing line out of the existing building. So if we line up this vanishing point with those points and pull those out, of the existing brick that we have that we first drew, that will provide the depth of that shape coming out of the front of the building. To determine how far out I want that shape to come, I will draw another vertical line between those two near lines coming from the two near points. Once I've done that, I've got two new sets of points that I can draw it to the vanishing point here and where they cross those back two lines will give me the end of that shape. Okay. So I can erase out some of these lines, clean it up a little bit, and that gives you your basic box coming out of the front of that house. Okay, to find the center of that peak, we would do the exact same thing we did over here, drawing the X to find the center. We will so too draw the X right here to find that center going up through the front of that shape. But because we have an existing roof already, we can't just pick a height on this. It's going to have to attach to this roof somehow. So once we've established the height, we have to play within that framework. We have to stay within that height requirement. So I know with this center line that this is the center of the top of that wall. So I'm going to lift one of you guys up, put you up here on the roof. We're going to put Harley up on the roof. It's going to take more than me to lift him up there. So mean. I know, right? Roof hole. We're going to put Harley up on the roof. So mean. And Harley is going to walk back through the center of this shape. Okay? To do that, we have to line up with this vanishing point and draw that vanishing line until we get to the edge of the existing roof. When Harley's walking across this shape, he's walking flat across a box. But when he gets to this point right here, if he continues on, this point, he's going to be walking up the roof, and as he goes over the cap, he'll go right back down the other side. So we have to show in this perspective drawing him walking up, changing the elevation. And to do that, we will parallel this line right here, showing that he's going up the roof. The reason for that is we have to decide where we want that peak to go so we can draw this in to finish our roof. So I'm going to tell you that we're going to do our peak right here. It's a smaller shape so we'll go down a little bit from the top of the roof and say that's where our peak is going to tie into. So now we have to connect this vanishing point and that point we just decided would indicate where it ties to the existing roof and pull that out to that center line that we discovered right here. And then we can go ahead and pull those peak lines down to the corners and we can connect our valley to the corner of the wall and that gives us that peak. It ties it to the roof on a center line. So now we've extruded that shape in two-point perspective and put a roof on it that ties to an existing roof. When you take all the lines out, it looks something like this. Okay? And to put those overhangs, 
you would simply extend your peak line and parallel those lines that come down from the corners to establish an overhang. The same would hold true over here. Extend, parallel, extend, and then erase off the unnecessary stuff. Okay. Questions? Okay. I would continue to do repetitious work on this. I would do it over and over and over. 